Hey guys, Auspicious Ozzy here, and welcome to episode 13 of the Inter Miami series here on FM20. Now, today's episode, as you can tell by the title, we do have a few signings to get into, one of which is our first ever designated player. Well, technically, technically it is because we have a young designated player in Olusunde. Uh, as you can see, if we go to his contract here, he's a young designated player. Not exactly you know, setting the world alight, he's probably more, I mean, he's only on 4,400 per week, which is a lot lower than some of the senior players that we do have at the moment. Um, so he's a young designated player. However, this new designated player, uh, if I go to history here, as you can see, he's not actually in here, um, but we do have a few more signings to get into. We go to trades. We have signed... Raul Rui Diaz. We signed him from Seattle, and we've given him also given him a new contract because his contract was running out at the end of the season. Forty-five k per week traded from Seattle, so we've essentially got their striker, by far their best striker as well. Uh, as you can see, incredible pace, four and a half star current ability. He is thirty years old and. We did have to, we essentially had to give him a five-year contract. He wouldn't negotiate any lower, which, you know, could be a big problem in the future. But at the moment, I needed a striker that's going to score us goals. It's kind of the big problem that we have at the moment in the squad. And we got this guy in. And to be fair, I could not be happier. I mean, in regards to the contract, we might be able to sell him on at some stage in the future. Possibly. Anyway... Welcome to the club, Rui Diaz. And the other... Well, I may as well go over this. We got him for pretty cheap. We gave them Cincinnati's 2023 Super Draft first round pick and also our 2023 Super Draft third round pick. So a first round and a third round pick for that quality of striker. Um, and they also gave us a little bit of money there as well. Now, if we go into all transfers, uh, there are a couple of players that left the club. Uh, the first of which was Julian Carranza, the striker. Now, he went to Leeds United for $4.1 million all up. Uh, we could essentially get him back on loan, um, but at the moment, his wage demands or the, their club wage demands are too much. Not that the re you know, we don't really need him either. Let's just say that. Uh, we're pretty well stocked with strikers at the moment. And unfortunately, the other player that was let go was Fabinho. Uh, he was let go for $2.3 million, which was his release clause. Obviously, not a great player to lose. Was one of our stronger midfielders. Um, but of course, he had that release clause. He wasn't actually playing too well. Um, as you can see, I mean, that, that looks pretty good. But ultimately... Uh, his recent form had really dropped off uh, to the extent that I wasn't even actually playing him in the first team. So, yeah. And Tumis, they're actually today's opponents in the League's Cup, which is a competition that I've never actually played in. So, it's going to be interesting. Uh, basically, the League's Cup is all the American teams versus uh, a load of Mexican teams. If I show you here the first round, uh, as you can see, U.S. teams, Mexican teams, uh, you would say probably some of the stronger teams. Um, I'm assuming it goes off of a certain stage in the MLS campaign, and it's the top, what, eight teams? And I assume the, the top eight teams of Mexico go in it as well. Um, and as you can see, uh, yeah, I mean, you would have to say that some of these... I mean, obviously, apart from Club America, but the American teams are doing quite well. Um, so that'll be our first game for today, and then we're also going to take on Toronto FC. Um, but yeah, let me go back into the transfers. And we'll finish this off. Uh, the players we brought in. Now, we brought in this guy, Brizuela, Brizuela uh, but we waived him immediately because we needed the foreign spots uh, for this guy, Ronaldo. You might be familiar with him. We we signed him way back in the first season. A uh, bit of a clickbait title on that one. Uh, but we brought him back in on loan, 4.2k per week. 
uh, basically to be the replacement for Fabinho. And finally, the last player we brought in was Eric Sigala. 18-year-old American centre-back. Pretty decent stats, you would have to say. 16 marking, 16 tackling, 16 positioning. Pretty good pace, 15 jumping. Lacking a little bit of heading. But he's also got 12 first touch. Now, if he can get his passing up to a reasonable level, he could be quite a decent centre-back. So, we brought him in. Uh, we brought him in for really cheap, 70k from Zwickau, who I believe are in the free Bundesliga. Uh, and as you can see, two and a half star current ability, three and a half star, possibly four and a half star potential as well. 1.5k per week wages, which is really good for the salary cap. Uh, it's worth mentioning they signed him on a free uh, from one of the American or the non-league American clubs that supplement the super draft now if we go into league table we currently find ourselves in third place in the eastern conference uh, we do have two games in hand over philadelphia who sit in second uh, we're essentially only three points behind so if we do win both of our games in hand we'll go three points ahead of them which will be really good however orlando city have a game in hand over us as they've only played 24 games and they're five points clear of us at the moment. So that could be a bit of a bit of a worry. They could essentially go eight points clear if uh, they win all their games and we win all of our games. Um, in regards to the Supporter Shield, uh, surprisingly, Houston Dynamo are currently on top. However, Orlando do have those games in hand. Um, yeah, let's get into the, the recent fixtures. We've played a, a few games. Uh, and I've also tweaked the tactic as well. Uh, but of course, the previous episode was the double victory. 1-0 victory over Real Salt Lake and the 3-1 victory in the US Open Cup over FC Tucson. We then drew DC United in the next round and lost on penalties. However, the fashion in which they equalized really pissed me off. As you can see, Olsen scored in the 83rd minute there. Carrillo... Scored in the 94th minute, the 4th minute of stoppage time, despite there only being 3 minutes allocated. I was absolutely furious. Then we, we lose on penalties in the end anyway. And it was just, it's one of those games, one of those football manager games where you just get screwed over massively and, you know, there's really nothing you can do about it. The next game was a 3-1 loss to Houston. They are doing extremely well at the moment. Um, as you can see, they opened the scoring. They actually had a player sent off in the 40th minute. They then opened the scoring in the 72nd minute. We got, sorry, they actually went 2-0 up through Ellis. We got a goal back straight away through Will Keane. And then Ellis scored another goal in the 94th minute. And obviously, losing 3-1 to 10 men... Makes you think about the tactic you're using. And basically all I've done with the tactic, I'll go into it now, is I've changed it from attacking to balanced. And so far, so good. We're unbeaten. Two wins out of three. Starting off with a 2-0 victory away to Atlanta United. Ola Sunday and Olsen getting our goals there. We then managed a one all draw with Orlando. So not a bad result considering we, we actually were the away team. Uh, Zimmerman getting the opening goal in the 70 se 77th minute uh, before they got an equaliser in the 80th minute despite having a player sent off again. So a little bit frustrating. Uh, they also had another player sent off in the 93rd minute there as well. And the final game just played was a pretty decent 3-1 victory over fellow expansion team Nashville SC. Uh, Rua Diaz... I think that was his first goal. Yeah, he scored his first goal in the first minute of the game. Martial getting a goal in the sixth minute, and Chris Mueller getting a well, getting our third goal in the eighth minute there. Uh, they got a consolation goal there from Dom Dwyer as well. Anyway, let's get into the lineup for today's game. Um, it's you know it's a little bit. Uh, it's not too different. Let's let's be real. Not too different. Um, unfortunately, McDermott actually got called up to the American national team and I uh, picked up a cap there as well. 
So he's currently unavailable. However, Strand is doing relatively well. I think he was a really, really good purchase from Nuremberg earlier in the season. So he's going to be in goals. He's going to go with Olusunde at right back. Zimmerman and Abubakar as our center backs. Greg Garza comes back in the starting lineup. He's not match fit, just coming back from that injury. Um, interesting because Gasper's actually been playing really well. Um, but I'm not really too fussed about this game. Like, I'd be happy if we win. But ultimately, I want to use it to try and get Garza match fit. So he's going to start. We're then going to go with Romano as the left winger. Of course, he is the 18. Is he 19? He might be 19 now. No, he's still 18. 18 year old Argentinian regen. We then got Marcial and Salazar as the center midfielders with Mueller starting at right wing. Uh, don't really know why. But uh, Mueller, of course, he scored in the last game, so we may as well stick with him. And then we got Keane and Rua Diaz up front. And uh, hopefully those two can score a lot of goals. The bench day is going to be Brown, Sigala, Ripkin, Ronaldo. Cisneros, Mischich, and Olsen. Give a couple of auto numbers out there for Sagala and Ronaldo. And yeah, Fabinho is actually starting against us tonight, so that's interesting. And they're also going to go with a, a 4 4 2. As you can see, Fabinho playing left center mid. Of course, the Mexican teams, they're, they're very strong, so it's going to be a very tough game, you would have to think. Good tackle there. I think it was Mueller. Olasunde with a nice ball to Rui Diaz. Ooh, that's a good save by the goalkeeper. But Rui Diaz, he really likes to run off the last centre-back. And I feel like he, he's... He looks so dangerous. That's why, like, it's an expensive contract. Very expensive. 45k per week is massive. And usually I don't like to do that. But we needed a, a top quality striker. And, yeah, Seattle were willing to part with him. So we jumped on the opportunity. Mueller with a good cross there. Martial will get it. Plays it to Olasunde. Salazar. Marcial bangs it. Ooh. Pretty close. All right, we go all the way back to Strand. Abubica. Yaza. Salazar. Over the top again, Rua Diaz. He's got the pace. But he doesn't have the finish. He's got good finishing. But he just can't score in that opportunity. Again, this is the full release game. As you can see, the beta is over. Come on, Abubika. Oh, damn it. I was hoping that they... The, they have actually fixed the, the choppiness of the videos. Of the... Not the videos, but... Of the, the actual gameplay in 3D. Oh, Gaza. Oh, Gaza. Um, don't really know what to do now. Um, can Zimmerman? No, no one can play left back. What about Ripkin? Not really. And Olasunde? Not really either. Okay, well... What about Ronaldo? No, he can't either. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring Ronaldo on, and then we're going to play Olasunde at left back. I kind of like that choice. I feel like it could, you know, keep the, the strength in the, in the back line. Martial with a, a bit of a wild shot there, as we're about to go into halftime. Salazar bossing the midfield today. On a 7.3. And they are yet to have a shot on target. Marcial with a free kick. Rua Diaz gets on the end of it. Bubicar. 
Don't want him to lose the ball here. That's a bad spot to lose it. Running backwards, plays it all the way back to Strand. Who's relatively out of his box. I don't like that either. Olusunde to Martial. Who loses the ball, but Salazar picks it back up, luckily. And now we're looking a bit more fluid as we come forward. Ronaldo to Keane. Olusunde. Got lots of players forward. Oh, Martial. What a nice shot that was. Oh, Rui Diaz. He's stolen it. The defender and the goalkeeper were in confusion with each other. They didn't know what to do. And Rui Diaz, with the pace, sneaking in to score the goal. Look at this. Defender. Oh, the defender should have cleared that. But we will take it 1-0. Four minutes in to the second half. And that's a great a great start to this half as well. We're still coming forward. Martial. Bit of a disappointing ball there. But another ball over the top to Rui Diaz. And he's going to score that all day long. There we go. That's why he's the designated player. He is that special marquee. That everyone. Everyone wants to see. I'm pretty good with rhyming. Very nice finish as well. Beautiful goal. And we're 2 0 up. We're looking pretty good. I feel like this is kind of the first highlight for Pumas. Although it looks like it might even be our highlight. Marcel breaking forward. Beats his man. Plays it to Rui Diaz. I think that's offside. Is it not offside? That's his hat-trick. Okay. Our designated player has scored a hat-trick. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm kind of in shock. Again, and I thought he was offside. I thought he was offside. Maybe maybe the left back there might have kept him on side. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going to make a sub here. Uh, we're going to bring... I don't want to bring Sagala on for Zimmerman. We're 3-0 up. Surely we can't lose from here. Famous last words. Uh, we're also going to bring Mizcic on for Romano. Salazar breaking forward here. Kane unmarked. I mean, we're tearing them apart at this point. Kane should have probably passed it. Or at least scored the goal. Mueller on the volley over the bar. Could have been a spectacular goal there. Salazar to Ronaldo. Mueller to Mischich. Oh, damn it. I really want him to score. He's he's seriously gone missing this season. All right, Mischich again. Can he get across? Yes, he can. Mueller, 4-0. Humas are being eliminated from the League's Cup. And good to see Mischic get the assist there as well. Simple header back across the goal. And as you can see, I'm pretty happy with how the tactic is playing at the moment. I feel like just, just dropping it back to balanced seems to sort of fix the issues that we had, you know, in regards to conceding the goals. Rua Diaz in behind again and still can't put that one away. Despite already scoring a hat-trick in this game.
All right, Mishchich again. Uh, but that's probably going to be offside there. I mean, this has been a really long game. I mean, this episode's probably going to be 25, maybe even 30 minutes long by the looks of it. There we go, the 4-0 victory over Pumas. Rua Diaz, the designated player, getting himself a hat-trick in his third game. So, pretty good. He's got four goals in three games. Really? Gaza is injured for three to six months with a hip injury. I'm going to send him to the specialist, but that is so frustrating. There we go. Sagala making his debut in that game as well. And I'm just going to praise Rua Diaz for that special hat trick there. Also kind of uh, kind of curious to see who we get in the next round, but we do have another game for this episode, so I'll join you back for the lineup against Toronto. All right, so we've just got one thing to go over, and that is the fact that we have drawn... We've drawn New York City in the quarterfinal of the League's Cup uh, with the winner of this game in the quarterfinal facing either FC Dallas or Club America. So, could be pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make another episode purely for the quarterfinal. If we make the semi-final and we're versing Club America, then I might make that the next episode. But, yeah, again... It, it all depends on if we get through and if they get through as well. Um, and I probably will make the final if we do indeed make it to the final as its own episode as well. Anyway, let's get into the lineup for the Toronto game here. Uh, as you can see, it is essentially the exact same team. I'm not going to change anything, uh, but the obvious change was Gaspar coming in for Greg Garza, who did pick up that injury. So... Yeah, let's just submit the team and we'll go straight in. We are the home team here today again. I'm just going to tell the boys to carry on where they left off against Pumas. Hopefully Rua Diaz can have another, another really decent game. Not looking as clinical today. Five shots with only one on target. And Toronto getting a, a decent chance there. Not a lot of highlights in this one. We've got a corner. Romano swings it in. Mueller's going to get on the end of it. Tries to get a cross in. Romano gets it in. Bit sloppy there, but... Yeah, somehow Toronto have the ball, and they're coming forward. Oh, Gaspar, what a tackle. Oh, come on, that cannot be a penalty. There is no way. That was a brilliant sliding challenge. If this is a penalty, I'm going to be really pissed off. Yeah, not a penalty. I was going to say, that's that would have been extremely harsh. Bubikar picking up a yellow card. So we'll ease him off. With Olasunde picking one up straight, straight after him, essentially, as well. We do have the highlight here. Zimmerman bringing the ball forward. Marcial. The Mueller. Marcial again. Shoots. Oh my god. That was a rocket. He hit the crossbar as well. Rua Diaz. Marcial. Alessunde. 
Ooh, Martial, he likes a shot. He does like a shot. We've still only had the, the two shots on target so far. Which is not great. And apparently Martial is actually exhausted out there. Mm, not a great first half. I think we'll we'll try and make a couple of subs here. Alright, let's see. Alright, Ronaldo for Martial. And then Olsen for Keane. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go with those two. We'll just keep that last sub. Just in case. Maybe Mischit should come on. Let's see what happens in this highlight and then we'll judge the, the situation. Ronaldo. Still Ronaldo. He shoots and it's just wide. We're really not hitting the target today. All right, we're going to bring him on. So Mischic on for Romano. Um, and I might even try and push the boys forward with a shout. Come on, Ronaldo with a free kick. Goes over everybody, unfortunately. Abubakar saves it. Not really. Running all the way back to chase down the ball. What's he going to do with it? I mean, he he actually plays a really good ball to Mueller. Lays it off. Salazar hits the post. We are so unlucky in this game right now. We've hit the crossbar. We've hit the post. Mischic, Abubakar, come on. Got to get it on target. Got to get... I'm going to go attacking. Or at least positive. We'll go positive. I went attacking. Okay, never mind. Uh, I mean, we're not we're not going to score. It's just one of those days. Twenty eight shots and only five on target. I mean, we essentially didn't even test their goalkeeper. Uh, I have to say that's probably you know dropped points there as well. Who was the man of the match? Their defensive midfielder. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. If you could drop a like, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, take it easy and goodbye.